Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. As you can see, uh, we have our home uh, almost completed. We still need to do the other side, but we are in living means right now. We also have a sweet farm over here. Uh, a cow farm. We need to go get our wheat though, or go see if any wheat has grown. Uh, and go see if we can't breed those cows a little bit more in this episode. Because, um, well... We're going to want some meat. We're going to want some real food so that we can go back over into that mine that we had to leave behind the other episode. Um, yeah. And so let's go ahead and get these lemons first because that's what we are. Or not lemons. Melons. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, first, so that we have actually some food to eat while we uh, wait on uh, ourselves to have a significant amount of cows. Let's replant all this. Oh, we're out. Right. Yay. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Our farm's coming along real quick. Nice. Oh, eight pieces of wheat. Very awesome. I believe we have a crafting table somewhere around here. Did I run right past it? I know we have one down at the beach, right? Come. Where, where'd it go? Oh, it's in the house. Dang it. It's okay. Oh, and I stripped the house because I put everything in the other house. Ugh. It's okay. We'll be okay. So, yeah, we're gonna. Oh wait, I don't. I, I don't need to make bread in a crafting table. I gotta go feed this to the cows. I don't know what I was thinking. I think you can feed bread. I'm pretty sure actually you can feed bread to horses in order to make them like you um, more before you try to tame them. Hi. You and you. Make babies. Oh, hi, baby cow. Meow. That was like a cat. Meow. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Now you. Baby cow. Hey, you have a piece. I'll give you a piece. No, the baby cow needs it. There. See, now look. Now nobody can breed because. Come on. Make a noise. Excuse me? Come on. There you go. There, you can have that. No, I gave you a piece. It's right there. It's just so ungrateful. Let's go make uh, a boat and get on over to our castle. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here first and we're going to pick up our whole farm. Um, because I, I do want to move it over to this, um, this castle over here, but I'm not quite sure if, if that's really what I want to do. I know, I know, like, I want it closer, but I don't know how close. Maybe, maybe instead of making this a whole other building, we'll flatten this out and we'll have a, a farmland area so that we can just run, run across and grab ourselves some food. Hopefully we can find ourselves a village eventually here. So that we can have potatoes. Because potatoes can be dropped by zombies or they can be found in villages or dungeons. Um, but the obviously the, the most the most common of those is finding a village and being able to take some potatoes. Or it's the easiest to find. Oh, and there goes my boat. No problem. Okay, so we have not seen the house yet. We have this walkway up here. I think I'm going to build a dock there eventually. Um... Sorry, I'm eating. Uh, this is our cave system that kind of is just here. I mean, uh, it was there when I built the home, so I figured I'd leave it. We gotta make sure it's well lit though, so that we are not caught out um, in the open by some spooky scaries. Um, let's go upstairs into the house though. This is the house. Um, upstairs we have our bedroom. Boom, very nice, with some nice red windows so we can see what time of day it is and see how everything's going outside. And down here is obviously our storage and our furnaces and all that, and then over here we have the bridge. Oh, ready? Boo! Ha 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 ready? Hoorah! Oh, I didn't get him when I was in the air. Dang it! Well, I hope that still looked cool. I'm not going to kill the other ones, but I just wanted to do that. So, I think we need to go mining some more, honestly, but we don't have that much food, which is the concern right now. 
so I think I think actually we're gonna go on an adventure today. Um, a little walk. A little walk never hurt anybody, right? Oh, I didn't know we had gold in here. This is a very unorganized, by the way. I am very aware, and I apologize uh, to those people that really like it to be organized. Um, I'll probably just end up doing that between episodes for you guys next time. Or not next time, because next time we may still be out in the jungle. But we're going to take all of our, our survival essentials. We need our compass. We have a clock, but we need our compass. Um, what else? You, you never know when you're going to need a shovel. We have our pickaxes. We can just stack these guys up here above and keep them all in one nice tool row. Um, we have a, an axe, but it's kind of worn down. So we'll take a, a backup axe, even though that one's not much better than just punching. Uh, anything else that we are going to want to take before we go? Actually, uh, I don't know if I want to make a bed. No, I'm not going to make a bed because if we die, I'd much rather have us back here than, um, than out in the middle of nowhere. We'll take a uh, crafting bench. Oh, not two. We'll just take one. What else? Anything else? I think, oh, maybe shears. No, we'll take shears. Um... We're going to take some... Do we have any iron on us? Nope. Oh, actually we do. Here. That's why we need to get organized. We'll take uh, uh, four pieces of iron just because you never know what we're going to need to make. Some sticks and we have some wood on us already. Um, I guess I guess we go out on the adventure now. These are awesome, but we're going to save these and try to make some golden apples in the future. I don't know why I keep checking those upper chests. There's another hole. We'll just put those together. Oh, hey, and here is the other wheat we have. We have a ton of wheat. It's awesome. That means that we can uh, make three bread at least. So that um, it's emergency food. We'll have it above our melons. Um, what time of day is it? Let's go ahead and look out. If you don't know, you can look at the sun. And if it's directly up, that means it's halfway through the day. Uh, over there, so what? We got like a sixth of the day left because it's still going down. Um... So why don't we actually just sit, hang out here? We're gonna go ahead and, tr and work on flattening this area a little bit um, While we wait for the Sun to go down and then once the Sun goes down We'll go ahead and have our last sleep here for the night And then we will go out on an adventure to maybe find a village or maybe even another temple I think that would be very cool to run into as well So yeah, I think I, like I said like I was saying I, I want to flatten this area out, but I'm not sure quite how much um, I know right now it's like an underground area, but that's where the bridge ended up uh, So what I might do is I might end up making it like a big V Up both ways so that I don't have to flatten out this whole area because that's it's like really destructive <laughs> But for now we will go ahead and smack down some torches as well So we don't have any bad guys coming into our place. We also need some torches on the bridge So what we'll do is in order to like make it even we'll start in the middle here 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 and here and then if we need more we can obviously add more here and here let's go ahead and make some more torches that's a good thing that we ran out of them here uh, so the math is because there's four torches per each um, four torches per each stick and coal used that means that you can use a uh, 16 pieces of coal and 16 sticks in order oh I want one too many that's okay uh, in order to make a stack of torches see Simple, simple math, but if you don't know it, now you do. Boom, boom. See, now it's nice and lit up here. We're not going to get caught up by some mobs. We'll, we'll put matching torches on the other side. I believe this is matching. Nope, that's not matching. Is that matching? Oh, come on. There we go. So let's go ahead and run over to the other side make sure that it's the same. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it. What am I missing? Oh, I put them on the... F I don't know. Right, because one, two, three... And then one, two, three, four, and we did it on the second one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Nope. We did it here on the other one. Wait. Yes. We did it there on the other one. Okay, so now it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and hop up into, uh, into our snug bed for the night. I don't know that we have torches up here. Oh, no, we don't. That's a good thing I, uh, I took a look. Because we don't want mobs spawning anywhere in our house. And we'll make it nice and even by doing it like that. And, uh, yeah.
Also, we're gonna need to start a chicken farm soon because those guys reproduce like crazy. Kill them, we get tons of food, which would be awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the cobble because you never know when we're gonna need cobble either. Um, we should be good to adventure. We keep I always keep a little bit of dirt on you in case you need to uh, like pull straight up. Like if you need to climb a surface, you can pull straight up. But I think we're gonna do most of our travel by sea to start, and then if we see a desert biome, I want to get into that. Um. Because I don't think we've seen one yet in this series. Ready? There we go. In the water. So we went that way before. And we went this way to find the mine. But I wanted to come this way and I wanted to follow the, the bank a little bit more. Because last time I was just like, I was only looking for the mi a mine. Like I followed all this and I was only looking for a mine. So I think we're going to come on through here. This little passageway here. And we're going to take a look. Um... Keep our eyes out, obviously. We're gonna we're gonna look a little bit further. But now we just know we just follow this coast, and we should be able to find home relatively quickly. I hate squids. Did you guys see in the in the fast motion one? You'll see there's a part where I hit a squid a um, uh, uh, squid with my boat, and it just I get I so mad I shake my mouse I like like that. But in fast motion, it's probably kind of hard to tell. I think somebody called it out in the comment section. It's pretty funny. Oh, uh, that was actually Dark Oak, wasn't it? I think I looked right at it, and I, we didn't even stop. It is. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to take a look at the Dark Oak, because I haven't covered it yet. I believe it's called Dark Oak. But, yeah, we're, and I'll, I'll, um, I'll dig up some, and we will get some saplings for it. Uh, the way I... I do these trees is the same way that I do the jungle trees, which is the spiral technique up. If you if you didn't see that in the other episode, come, no, no, come on. <sighs> yeah, we do is, yeah, I'm, I'm right, right, dark oak wood. Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, so I just do the same thing I would with the jungle tree, and then you can clear up these branches. I like these ones because it's little clumps of uh, wood. It's quick, easy access. It's not too tall. You don't have to worry about it floating uh, out of your reach or anything like jungle. If you cut down a jungle tree wood. Um, yeah. I really do like the dark oak look as well with uh, acacia, which is an orange wood. Which is the orange wood, yeah. Um, and what we'll do is we'll cut down uh, uh, one more just to hopefully wait for this other one to drop us a few saplings just so we have it there we have one sapling here awesome let's we'll trim this guy up won't ruin him but get a little extra wood in case we wanted it let's keep going it doesn't look like that one is um giving us what we need right away so let's go ahead and oh that's why we always bring the spare iron um Go ahead and just clean this tree up. Come on. This is so slow. Now you can see the difference when we go from iron to wood. Like when we go wood to stone to iron, sometimes it's like, oh, that's not a huge deal. But uh, obviously working backwards, it's it's clearly a, a big deal. The speed difference. Oh, oh, more saplings. Yay. We're at two. Okay. Um, usually, you, I think you can grow dark oak with one sapling. Um, but you're not going to get these these wide trees. I think you need to do a two by two form in order to get these uh, these big trees like this. So that's why we are still waiting on some more saplings to fall. Oh, and here's apples and a couple more saplings. There we go. We have the number of saplings we need. Um, let's go ahead and store that in our inventory. Let's we'll punch this guy down. Did I still have that X? No. Okay, so we're just going to have to punch. The rest of this, because we don't want to leave this out here, um, just to rot away, because it's not going to look good, and we want it to want it to be nice, you know. If you cut down a tree, you got to take the whole thing, or else you know, you're a bad person, right? I don't know. Awesome. Let's hop back in our boat that, that got away from us a little bit here, and head back that way. Unless we want to follow the shore this way, I think actually we're going to go out that way. Um, there's something else that usually happens in dark oak forests that I wanted to show off. Oh, there they are. Okay, off in the distance, you see those little red tops? Those are mushrooms. Those are giant mushrooms. 
Um, when you break them, you get smaller mushrooms, and um, they only show up in these biomes and another biome called the Mushroom Biome, which is a very, very rare one. It's very cool, though. And there's the other type of a mushroom. I actually don't... I think we might be missing one of the mushrooms um, so that we can make mushroom stew. So we're just going to go ahead and get off here. And we're going we're gonna to take a little bit of each mushroom just to be sure. Um, hmm. What is it? Oh, you know what I think it is? I think you need shears in order to get the, um, the actual mushroom. Oh, nope. See? They drop. I knew it. But now I need to get up there. And that's why we bring the dirt. We can go on up. There we go. A couple of those. There we go. That should be okay. And we have a little bit of each mushroom. We can always go ahead and grow them back later. Let's go ahead and cut down the, the whole bottom layer of this mushroom just to be sure that it looks all right. Now let's go find our boat. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Doesn't look like there's going to be much more boat travel if we go this way, though. Which is fine by me, because I'd, I'd love to run the land. Take a look out. But let's follow this as far as it can go up here. And then we'll get up on this rock. Puck, puck, puck. There we go. And I broke the boat on purpose just so we get those resources from it. Um, no point in just leaving a boat. I guess we could have broken it and taken it with us, but... Gonna... Oh! This is another new mod. I mean, mob. My bad. Uh, it's the bunny. Ten ticks of health, so five hearts of health. Plus, there's a bunny called the killer bunny. Hopefully, we don't run into him. Uh, it's a very rare spawn, but it does um, five damage, five ticks of damage on easy, so two and a half hearts. Four hearts on normal, and, tw uh, and 12 ticks, or six hearts on hard. Um, rabbits can be bred with the use of carrots, golden carrots, or dandelions, but only only follow you if you use carrots. Even if you breed with them, they will follow you. And yeah, that's it's pretty awesome. Uh, you get a plenty of different color bunnies uh, uh, as well. Do we have? Oh, there's dandelions right here. Oh, there's a baby bunny. Hi, baby bunny. Oh, it's a rabbit. They call it a rabbit in the game. So these are the dandelions. Let's go ahead and take those out. Hi, do you like dandelions? Oh, you do. Hi. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go this way. Come on. There's another bunny over here. We got to go say hi. We're going to go. We're going to go try to make a baby bunny right now. Come on. Come on. Come. Come on. Walk this way. We don't have any carrots, so we can't. This is. Wait, that's a little bunny. That's a big bunny. That's a big bunny. I mean, a little bunny. Oh, dandelions make bunnies grow, apparently, too. That's what that, that effect means. Well, it's okay. We can't breed them, I guess, but it's very cool to see a, a, a rabbit in Minecraft. It's the first time I've seen them, to be honest, um, in 1.8, because that's when they were added. Let's go keep let's keep going on our adventure. Obviously, um, we know where they are now, so if we ever want to come get more, I guess we can come on back and bring a few home with us in order to have these pets. I think that'd be very, very cool. Here's some pigs. I don't know if we should kill them or just leave them. We'll just leave them for now, I guess. Because they're not bothering anybody. You're not bothering anybody, right? That's right. Okay, and here we have uh, another new wood. I'm not sure if we've covered in the series yet. I doubt it, though. Uh, I believe this is... Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. I always get these two mixed up. This is not birch. This is... checking right now obviously spruce okay so this is spruce uh, I always get birch and spruce mixed up but birch is the one with the um, that is white with the black spots on it it's the lighter color uh, this was the original dark wood and then obviously they came out with dark oak which is an even deeper dark but we'll grab uh, some pieces of this just so we have it back at the house hopefully we can get some saplings from this as well Oh, we have one. Awesome. Sweet. So now we will be able to grow some of these back at the house as well. It's very awesome to have like a, a bunch of variety of woods because then if we ever want to create anything, we obviously can do so. Um, well, I'm not using like awkward materials like dirt. 
for like certain colors if that makes any sense oh this is very cool hello sheep let's go ahead and climb up here give me a second This is a special biome. I believe it is called a flowers biome. Obviously, you can see many plethora of different flowers. Um, it does seem like night is falling upon us, though, you guys. So I'm going to call this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and see some more see some more content from me. Let's go ahead and light, light an area up and, and give ourselves a little home for right now. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If um, if you liked it, tell your friends. I'll see you later. Bye.